Have you heard of the rabbit large action model and its potential impact on automation testing? What are the six software testing trends for 2024? And what are some of the biggest takeaways from the Catchpoint 2024 SRE report that was just released? Find out in this episode of the Test Skill News Show for the week of January 14th. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. All right, first up, software testing expert Daniel Knott released his six top trends that he sees for 2024. And the first trend is the increased use of AI and software testing for tasks like test generation and code explanation. Next, API testing is highlighted as a must-have essential skill for all testers. Daniel also emphasizes the importance of low-code, no-code, as well as the need to focus on accessibility testing, security testing, and mobile testing. I also pretty much have all these on my top automation trends for 2024 that I released a few weeks ago. So it was nice to see mobile testing and some of these other features that I've called out as well. A lot of people have seen the same thing. And I think mobile testing in 2024 is so important that I asked Daniel to join us at the Automation Guild February 5th to the 9th to do a session on removing the pain from mobile test automation. So if you want to make sure you're constantly upskilling yourself to make sure you're more and more valuable to your company and this time, you definitely want to register. Head on over to automationguild.com and register today. All right. I just heard about this. It was random. I was on a call Friday with Moshi Millman just talking about things in general. He said, hey, have you seen Rabbit R1? I was like, no, never heard of it. Well, it turns out it's a new AI-powered virtual assistant that was just launched at CES. So in that video, about 15 minutes into it, the founder of Rabbit mentioned something called LAM, Lodge Action Model, which was developed by Rabbit. And the main takeaways from the LAM was it was designed to interface with various applications in a more human-like way, bypassing the need for numerous APIs. It was trained by humans to recognize and interact with various app interfaces, such as identifying a setting icon or using a search bar. And it also has a way that the model can be taught new tasks through a train model. And as I was thinking of this, I thought, you know, even though this wasn't explicitly mentioned for the application of LAM, how about its application for software test automation and its potential capabilities. So some things that came in my mind, how this could be useful is LAM's ability to understand and interact with app interfaces could be used for automation testing of software applications. It's adoptive learning for test cases. If you could train the model of LAM that could allow it to learn and adopt to new test scenarios and also how it can help maybe streamline testing processes by reducing reliance on multiple APIs and interfaces, LAM could simplify and speed up testing of software applications. So I'm always fascinated by companies that acquire other companies because it's a signal on where companies are betting where the trends in the industry are going. And one of them is Harness's latest announcement, how last week it made a strategic move to acquire its venture-backed rival, Omri, signaling Harness's ambition to really expand its footprint and capabilities in the automation and CICD space. And this move is expected to enhance Harness's offering, providing more comprehensive and advanced tools for automation professionals. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the show, how I think mobile testing and also Daniel Knott sees mobile testing as well being a trend for 2024. I've seen a few tools come out recently, which is Sophie AI has just unveiled Visual Match, which is a new feature enhancing their scriptless automation platform. And this tool is designed to streamline the testing of visual elements in mobile applications, addressing the common challenges we all see in this industry. And as I mentioned also, once again, on point, what we've been seeing for software trends in 2024, the need for more tooling and better mobile testing for automation of mobile testing apps. And Visual Match allows software testers to really fine tune click targets in automated test scripts improving the accuracy and reliability of the testing process. And this feature is particularly useful in scenarios where traditional identifiers like XML paths are ineffective. And it really offers a new approach to handling DOM structures, simplifying the debugging of visual design discrepancies and helping to hopefully reduce flaky tests. And this platform, which is also known as a no-code solution, also includes new features like swipe until element found, manual override, assert, conditions, app packages, a whole bunch more. And these additions really help empower testers and developers to maintain tests easily, making quick automated adjustments to test scripts and to ensure a flawless user experience. If you're dealing with RPA and you wanna see how AI can help you with your automation 
process there. Here's an announcement that you might be excited about, and it's how Automation Anywhere has unveiled a generative AI-powered process automation solution as well. And this technology was created to help speed up automated development to hopefully reduce cycle times. It's built on top of an advanced large language model and trained with data from over 150 million automation processes, enabling businesses to develop and run complex workflows across various applications automatically. And the solution named Automation Copilot for automators offers a suite of generative AI powered capabilities that really streamline the creation of enterprise grade automation. And it allows users to describe their automation needs in natural language, which the software then translates into efficient personalized automations. And this technology is not only expected to enhance employee productivity, but also promises substantial financial benefits with potential returns, according to them, of up to 9x, I don't know how they got that number, when considering implementation, development, and management costs. And the generative AI automation model is designed to learn and improve from user feedback, ensuring continuous enhancements. And so once again, another use of AI, and this one applied to robotic process automation. And another news item that helps justify my automation trends for 2024. I know I keep hopping on this, but if you see my trends for 2024, one of them is on the need to develop for observability, how observability is really gonna become more mainstream in 2024. And this next news article kind of highlights this as well. So Lambda Test has announced its integration with New Relic and this collaboration aims to tackle the challenges in observability and streamlining the software development process, ultimately leading to faster product delivery. And this integration makes a notable advancement in the field of test automation, promising enhanced efficiencies and effectiveness in software testing and monitoring. And this development is particularly relevant for professionals to test automation as it represents a step forward in addressing some of the key hurdles in the software development life cycle, especially in 2024. This move is on trend for what I predicted in my 2024 automation testing predictions with the rise of observability. So when I see a testing company or a company known mostly for software testing, investing in this as well, I have a feeling that we're on the right track of where we're going in 2024 and beyond. And that is observability as a software tester. If you're not dealing with observability, if you don't know anything about it, you definitely should learn more about it in 2024. And one great way to do it is to join us at the Jazz Automation Guild, where we have a great session on observability and telemetry from a tester's perspective. This is another news trend going over some innovations in mobile test automation as well. And so here's a company I stumbled across when I was doing some research, and they just announced a new feature that ensures mobile apps function seamlessly across various devices and operating systems. And they also focus on the performance and reliability of mobile applications. And this service also employs an AI-driven testing to simulate real user interactions, identify issues that couldn't impact app functionality. And a key feature is its focus on real world scenarios, testing apps under diverse conditions to guarantee optimal performance. And it's also another solution that is mobile focused with low code, no code testing approach. It also includes object recognitions for easy identification of UI elements, AI-powered self-healing, and adaptive tests to UI changes, and cloud-based testing, eliminating the need for extensive infrastructure that a lot of teams struggle with. So if you're a software tester, I believe you should be involved in any sort of testing or be at least aware of it. And one of those areas is site reliability engineering. So here's a report on the realities of site reliability engineering in 2024. And this report was drawn from insights from over 400 IT professionals globally. And the report underscores the pivotal role of SRE in maintaining and monitoring digital services and applications. And some key findings of the report reveal a paradigm shift in the field with a significant 64% of respondents agreed on the necessity of monitoring productivity or experience disruption endpoints, even those outside the direct control. And this reflects a changing mindset towards greater visibility in reliability practices. And also the report delves into the impact of AI and SRE with the majority of 53% view AI as a tool that will ease their work with only 4% fearing replacement by AI. And for links of everything of value we covered in this news episode, head on over to the links in the comments down below. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end, full-stack, pipeline, automation, awesomeness. As always, 
Have started and keep the good. Cheers.